In this quick video, you'll learn how to replace the battery in your Chevy Suburban key fob. Replacing your battery at home is very easy to do. You do not need to bring this thing to a dealership to get it done. Uh, the whole process will take you under five minutes from start to finish. And the only things you'll need are a flathead screwdriver and one CR2032 battery. If you don't have one of these batteries lying around or you're not sure where to get one, go check out the link in the description that link will take you over to Amazon where you can find these particular batteries that you need for this device for just a few dollars. Um, there are a couple versions of this device. I have the six button version. There's also a five button and a four button version. So actually even one of them that has silver sides instead of the black ones. But as long as you have what was pictured in the thumbnail or uh, it's just what different layouts of this, this um, device, doesn't matter which one you have, the process is going to be the same battery is the same and you can follow along with me here. The first step is just to flip this thing over and look down here where the key ring uh, would attach and you can see there is that kind of opening in here. It's a slot for us to put our flathead screwdriver into. So go ahead and insert it in there. Hold your device um, by the sides, not on the top here, and just gently twist. Twist your, um, your flathead like you would turn a key and in one direction, and then you'll see this little piece of plastic snap open. Now you can go put it back in and twist in the opposite direction, and this will come off for you. Now you can just lift it off with your fingers. Now we have access to the battery. So the first time you do this, uh, you can see my battery is kind of falling out. It's because um, I've opened this thing so many times. There was a little small piece of plastic that held this thing down right here that did end up snapping off. So I'm gonna show you how to do it very carefully so that will not happen. Um, yours is gonna be kind of locked down in there. And there's this opening right here. You can see there's a, just enough space for us to put our flathead screwdriver into. So what you wanna do is push that down in and a, a smaller flathead will do better, but really any will do. You're just pushing it down almost to the bottom and then prying your battery up and it will click out. Unfortunately, it is a little bit tough to get out of there the first time. It's just really not the best design because it'll be held down in these two areas. But if you do it slowly, you should be okay. Um, once you got your battery out, you can dispose of the old one. Make sure your new battery is a 2032 battery. And when you're putting it in, make sure the positive side that has the plus sign on it is facing up. And what you wanna do is just slide it under the larger tab before clicking it under the smaller tab over there. From here, all you need to do is click the back section of plastic back on there. So make sure the part that has these two little prongs is down at the bottom where the key ring attaches and just snap them all, snap them both back into place and squeeze the whole thing until it is nice and secure. And once you've done that, you have a new battery in your device and you are good to go. So I hope that video helped you out and if it did, feel free to let me know down in the comments or just by giving this video a like. And if you ever need help with another one of your key fobs, you can come back to this channel. We've got you covered with tutorials for the devices for almost every make and model out there. And you can also get that information over at our website, fobbattery.com.